Welcome to our next video, which is all about making microscope slides. And today we're going to be looking at, as you can see from this specimen I have in my hand, um, an onion slice so we can look at the cells. So the first thing to do is to get a nice good sharp kitchen knife and take a slice from the top bit. We've now peeled our onion and taken away um, the convex part and you can see that one very thin layer has separated off. So that is the layer that you want, which is exactly one cell thick. So if you take that off and put that onto the white area, then you can just cut off a small part of it, like so, and then you can transfer that onto the slide, like so. Oh, try not to double it up, so it's got to be as flat as possible. It's a fiddly job. So you spread it out, there you go. So that's got a bit of muck there, we just get rid of that. So that's, and the next thing we do is that we take some iodine tincture, which you used to be able to get from chemists, but now seem to be only mainly able to get it from online. So if you do a Google search, you should be able to find that and get it for about three pounds. And then you take your pipette, top it up, and just place a few drops on there. And then the next thing to do is to get cover glass. This is a pack of 100 cover glasses. That, and what you do is you place it at 45 degrees, you support the top edge and then you just let it fall down onto the slide. And what I'll do is it'll push any air gaps away. And so there you have your prepared slide. The best thing to do is to leave it for about a minute for the iodine to seep into the onion layer. But we have one already prepared, I did before, so we'll have a look at that through the microscope. And we've now got the microscope set up with the slide on the stage there. So we turn the light on at the base here, so we have it shining through, and we're on the lowest magnification on the objective lens. So if we now rotate round onto the computer, let's start on the laptop, and then we click on the Toop View software, so double click there, and there on the camera list on the top left there, we click on the one that's selected, and then we get the view, which I'll zoom in on of our onion cells. And if I just make sure we can really just out of focus there and then come in there. And at the lowest magnification we can clearly see all the cell walls around there. And here and there we can, we can see a nucleus one there and different sized cells all interconnecting. So we bring the stage down and go up to our next magnification and bring the stage up slowly and focus in on that. Oh, that's a nice one because we can, ooh, if I get back to there, again, we can quite clearly see the cells all there and a nice nucleus there in the cell. So bring the stage down and go into our highest magnification and we'll just see what we get when we focus in on that. Ooh, I think we're about there.
this is the one that's most difficult. Oh, well, that's a fairly good picture there. Probably there's a bit of a time lag with it. Oh, if we there, we can certainly see the cell there quite clearly, and the cell walls there and there. I don't know if I'm going to be able to see a nucleus at all close up. Might have to just pause and wait until I find one. Here we have actually the slide that we just actually prepared today and this is perhaps the best detail I've got when we're on the middle magnification but what we're getting here so you can see clearly the cell walls here going around and there you can get a very good picture of a nucleus there and I think if we go into the higher magnification we'll just get too deep in the middle there it'll be difficult to find so I think that's the best we're going to be able to do so that's how we prepare slides and view them through the computer.